ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another live building tutorial the second one i have attempted so if you are watching live bear with me as i make mistakes throughout this and if you're watching the replay know that if there are any odd glitches to this thing it's because of the live stream uh, so uh, what we are looking at here is a large house or modern sorry autumn house number two um, and I did put a big autumn tree in behind. So if you have, haven't seen the first version of this, link for it is in the cards along with some other tutorials. Um, and uh, I am doing this live. I don't have the live stream chat replay up, but that is something you can now enable, which makes this even cooler. And uh, if anyone who is watching live does super chats and stuff like that, I'll acknowledge them at the end, but they won't interrupt the build. And we will try and do this just like a building tutorial for anyone watching the replay. You can build this step by step. Uh, link for or sorry a total of all the pieces you need are in the description and I'm spending the beginning of the video here circling around the outside letting you get a good look at everything and then we'll build this together Whew. okay this is gonna be interesting so Bob Ross style you could uh, follow along with the build I will attempt to do it this way so uh, this I think almost entirely can be done uh, on console with vanilla building pieces that's what I've done um, shout out to my Patreon servers and G Portal who uh, sponsors them, but I am doing this uh, just in single player where I can use creative mode and whip this up and I can brainstorm ideas, lots of ideas out there. Uh, so, and I will now attempt to do a live tutorial and I'll aim to keep it around 30 minutes, something like that. Um, and I'm inspired by Autumn House, uh, the original one, and what I'm taking from that is the mix of building materials. As you can see, it's different layers, different uh, combinations of building materials all slammed together. And the one thing that you will need, um, basically it's called structure, what's it called? The no clipping. You will need the no clipping enabled in order to do this section here on the front. But if you are on console and you can't do that, just like the last Autumn House, you can just leave it out and it won't make a big difference at all. Um, but we've got that on the, we've got that set up looking that way as it is right now. And now we're gonna move down here, get started with a foundation. Um, if you guys build this, oh, here are our coordinates, by the way. 35.0, 27.4, we're on the Ragnarok map, overlooking the swamps, jungles, canyons, we've got the best of all, oh, snow, we've got the best of all worlds here. So this looked like a pretty nice spot to build. Um, yeah, if you end up building this, guys, you can f uh, send a picture to me on Twitter. I would love to see this with different paint jobs, uh, different building materials. I'm at Unite the Clans on Twitter, or you can join our uh, community Discord, the Geeks Discord. Link for that also in the description. Um, and my moderators will share that stuff live, I'm sure, as well. Um, and uh, you can hop into the gallery section of the Discord or the building advice section and uh, join us in geeking out about building. Alright guys, so uh, we are going to, you know what, this song getting a little touch too loud for me. Let's make an adjustment there, and ready, on to the next version. On to the next song. Okay, perfect. I'm ready to start building. That was a well-needed change. That first song's a little bit too long for old UTC. Um, okay, cool. It seems like the stream is going well for those of you watching live. Let's turn on the HUD. So you can see my crafting materials and we're going to start just like that with a line of four foundations i think we're going to bring this back like this uh, and then off this we're going to build out three if memory serves two only two okay so and then this goes here and then this goes here so this is our shape i know it's weird I don't know, I probably, there's a, probably a better way to explain it. A two by two attached to a two by four attached to a two by two. Is that the best way to explain it? Interesting, but that is your shape. Build that with foundations and I will head over here and confirm that that is right. Uh, this section here that you're looking at in the build, that is something that you will need the no collision uh, section, uh, no collision uh, rule to be enabled for you to build. So we're gonna leave that out till the end. You can see how the place looks without it. Yeah, that's exactly how, it, how you do it. Uh, almost exactly. Yeah, that's that's exactly it, right? Okay, well, let's have a quick look back over here. I think one, I think I have one thing different. No? No, that's it, okay. 
All right, so let's get started on the design, guys. And the first thing we are going to need is stone walls. Thank you for bearing with me as I figured that out. And we're going to start with stone walls here on the bottom of this front section. And this is going to be one of the materials that we use frequently. The next is adobe. And we're not just going to go, we're not just going to go ahead and place it. Basically, you could just place an adobe wall here and flip it. What we are going to do is build on these ceilings. And what you get uh, instead of uh, the, the adobe wall that you get there. Ho hold on. Uh-huh. All right. And you get a different positioning of it. So that is the positioning of it. It looks better than the other version, which is inset a little bit. I guess it's arguable which version you like better, but this one will mess up your snap points. So we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to build around the stone. And we'll do it uh, around to here. And let me see. Stone wall here. I think stone walls on the corners here and here as well. Yep, that seems to be right. And then build in like this and now adobe so uh the adobe the best thing for you guys to do if you're uh, on foot is to just look towards the outside of the house and it's going to snap backwards because you're looking out over these uh, foundation or uh, huh, over these ceilings live building tutorial awkward ha huh. all right and now come over here and do that look on the ins from the inside look out and it's always very easy that's how you get them to snap the direction you want assuming you've done those ceilings around the outside now getting rid of those ceilings uh is a little bit more work if you're not building in sort of the creative mode i am you have to go around and do that manually for me i can just delete them by looking at them and clicking a button on my mouse that's thanks to arc commander uh but i'm mostly using a creative mode which is built into the game you hit tab and write cheat cheat gcm and you can build in single player like this um okay so, oh, I did miss a spot right here. Uh, oh, that goes there. And we'll break this. Okay, and we'll fly. Okay. There we go. Let's go over here and take a look, and we'll see. Just make sure I haven't missed anything too important. Uh, I think I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue the building project. All right, guys. Right over here right over here we're actually going to do these walls uh, around except for in the center middle those are going to be uh, these greenhouse ones we can actually build up with the greenhouse ones like that uh, and then continue building like this it does not matter that these are inside out um, it really doesn't um, but technically what we're going to want to do is get the uh, the wood that we place on top, technically we want to get that to be snapping uh, the same orientation as the stone at the very bottom. So to do that, we would have uh, we'd be on the inside as we place them and be looking... Oh, sorry, I guess if, if you're here, you, you want to look at your feet until you get the right... Uh, oh. Lord, that can't be right. There you go. Sorry, guys, my my hot hot bar controls have changed. Okay, and go up here, look at your feet, and then I'm gonna switch to the other ones. So this is now this ought to now be the left sides. Uh, so they're gonna try and snap like that. But if I do put the ceiling here, look at my feet, I can do this. So all these ceilings that I'm putting in and taking out, guys, you could use thatch uh, for this purpose, and it would be cheaper. I am just using what I think is convenient and thatch is not the prettiest of building materials so that is the look for the front of the house i nailed it right yes i did perfect uh, so let's build around the corner here uh oh uh, you know what we don't need to now we go straight into the uh the sloped roofs so on top you're gonna place these now i'm flying because it's faster guys but let's make sure it's just as easy to do for you guys and that's even without that wall being built up there yeah no problem that is that is super easy to do so i think what happens over here is a continuation of that style so we're gonna want this here and this here and then uh gonna use a little bit more of this wood whichever one seems to go naturally up there 
Yes, perfect. So it's snapping naturally uh, to that ceiling, and we can tell because the outer texture is facing out. It's not going inside out as it would uh, if it were snapping like that to the wall instead of the ceiling. So, whoops. Take that out. Oh, gosh, this is rough live, guys. I would normally cut this out. So snap that in. Head to the inside. Now these ceilings are obsolete. Remove them. Hop in here. Oh, come on. I've made it impossible for myself now. <laughs> all right, when all is lost, just showing you how easy it is to build from the ground up, you sacrifice a little bit and you remove that. There you go. But we're gonna fly for the rest of the tutorial because I think it will make things faster and simpler. So uh, now a wooden sloped wall right up at the top and we're coming into completing this building. Um, I will mention again, I'm building live, so if you're watching live and in the chat, I won't be paying as much attention until I complete the tutorial part of the stream, which I am, un which is underway right now, which I am working on as we speak, uh, trying to work on. Just taking a look back here, guys. This section I'll have to keep taking peeks at and refreshing my memory. It'll help to refresh your memory as well, and you can see where we're going. We're going to start building on this section now. Uh, so let's head over here. Let's begin with regular adobe walls. Now these do not need to be flipped inside out, like so. They're gonna go just like that, but the section that goes on top of them does need to be flipped inside out. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and this, and on top, it's gonna get wooden walls. So come up here and look at your feet, or come down here and look up, and you should get it the right snap point, like this, and we'll go one up there, and then there is going to be a greenhouse glass window right there. Once again, all the uh, materials are uh, listed in the description. So you should know exactly how much you need and build along. And hopefully I don't get too far off my original recipe. As original recipe sounds like KSV. My original uh, list of building materials as I build here. So let's go here and let's do a door frame, actually. I think I have planned around this. I think that's a good spot for a door frame. That feels good to me. And then we're going to come to this side and we're gonna, oh, gonna have to do the ceilings, like so. And then to get the, we'll have to do that all around, I suppose. All right, and then let's get the inside out wood showing for us. Beautiful. And then I think what I decided to do was just the greenhouse glass there and there. And then I think if I come to this section, remove these, I think from here we just went up like so, like so. Uh, and this will be the sloped wall right and it's inside out so it's going smoothly on the left side of our house now I think I originally did this in a stone building uh, material for the roof and I think we'll keep it that way I think that's a good design uh, let's go ahead and go up like this and we're gonna need now the sloped wall left hopefully I'm being consistent with the things I'm describing to you guys all right, and I think what we'll do is go ahead and put in a ceiling right here. I think that'll be good for us, and we're gonna go ahead and put a wall on it. And we'll go ahead and do sloped wall right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tell me this thing isn't starting to look good. Cue that next song. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, it's a dramatic one. And it's like 11 seconds away. So really probably shouldn't have even mentioned it. Now onto the sloped roof. Let me grab our stone sloped roofs. Uh, they would be here. And finally that music kicks in. God, that would have been a lifesaver if that, if that gap wasn't quite so short. Now belching into the mic, that is two in a row of these live building tutorials. Clearly, I got a skill for this thing. Okay, and let's go ahead and reset the time of day. That's looking lovely. Look at that, get your screenshots, but let's go to the middle of the day and we can let uh, sunset approach us again. Now, I think what you should be able to do uh, if you're up here, I think what you should be able to do is uh, build a little gap across here like that. I don't think you should need to do anything fancy and I don't think you should do anything fancy. I think what we're gonna have going on, oh Lord, does memory serve? <laughs> All right, well, let's work our way to the back and let me see what I can come up with uh, for what's supposed to go on back here. Yeah, you know what? We've now completed two pods of the house, guys. I think that is pretty good. Okay, 
Perfect. Now I will take a look, guys, and I'm gonna head back over to this house. I have excellent speed. I'm gonna head back over to this house and look. So what we did was two layers of regular wood walls, an inside out adobe wall that ties right into this, and then on top, regular side out uh, adobe windows with window frames. Now I did that because these things take paint differently, so if you do decide to paint this place, and we might do that at the end of the stream, rack up some more views on the tutorial, um, but this is the design we're gonna go with. Some more greenhouse glass coming in, sl sloped wooden roofs, uh, uh, otherwise more walls. Okay, that was a little scary. All right, welcome back, people. <laughs> welcome back. All right. I have now looked at the other house and I know what we're doing. Get out your wooden walls. If you wanted to put a door frame in, here would be a pretty good spot to do it. Go around like so, like so, and now we're going to need some more disposable ceilings. So go ahead and use thatch here if you prefer to save on the materials, and we're just going to go ahead and do that. And let's reconsider that request for a door, and let's go ahead and install one. I think that was a wise idea. Good thinking by me. Okay, so now from here, what we're going to do is take adobe walls, and they're going to go inside out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, not quite. Let's break that one. Break there. Okay, perfect. And now what we're going to need is a row of ceilings on the inside. So choose the direction uh, you want the boards to go. I think that should be plenty. Oh, see? Board's not facing the same di direction. So rotate. What? Come on. This always happens when you're live. Things just don't want to play along. There, I think that's lovely. Now, let's go to the outside of the house. Let's remove this, and this, this, and this, and one more right above the door. Okay, so now we are perfectly in position to start using some Adobe uh, window frames. So those are finally gonna come into play on the build. And what we're gonna do is hopefully from the outside here, yes, we are gonna get the outside facing side on top of these inside out adobe walls now we got quite a unique look so you got inside out right right side out you can see the two battling there trying to decide what's what and you know what now we're going to go ahead and take uh take some uh, greenhouse glass windows and we're going to go ahead and use five of those um and i'm going to fly just like i said for simplicity's sake i don't know what's to be proven by walking on the ground. You guys know I know how to build. No need to prove that as we play together. Uh, okay, uh, and let's, while we're here, let's think about a door. I think I already have thought about a door. And we're gonna go with wood here. The regular wood door. Boom, it fits nicely in the adobe door frame and it ties in this section with this section. I think it's quite fantastic. I hope you like this section. So let's go up here and I'll show you what I had in mind for it. Um, we are gonna use the only little bits of greenhouse glass, uh, sloped greenhouse glass, that come into play on the build. We'll put them here and here. Interesting, right? And now the wooden roof, sloped roof. Is that it? This is, this is it. All right, so now we figure out how this all goes together. Uh, now, this could be interesting for some of you on console. Are you able to do that? Do you get that snap point? If not, what you're going to want to do is build up from this wall that you've put down here. And it should snap the way you want it to snap, like that. And you should be able to put the sloped wall left on top. And I'm still getting the weird snap point, so... There we go. It's not weird, it's just off ever so slightly. So you should be able to do that, and then you should not be limited from your ability to do this. Right? Those two things can go together. That can happen. The only question is, and you know what? Let's continue doing what we were doing here, guys. So in order to get this section, we're gonna have to put a ceiling there, and then let's just put a door frame and a sloped wall. Perfect. So, so far, you should be able to do that even if you're on console. The one question is, can you do this? Can I, you have these crisscrossing, mismatching each other like that. I don't know. But either way, that is how you complete this build. We're gonna once again go with a wooden door frame door. Actually, you know what? Maybe this? I think that looks lovely. I think that looks lovely. All right. So I think we have done it. 
coming in at 22 minutes and counting. Follow me out here, Scorpion. Follow me out here. You're a fool. Get wrecked. I'm on fire right now. You cannot mess with me. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is uh, come to the front of the building, and I'm going to employ that feature that I mentioned that is only going to be for the folks who have the no clipping rule. Now, everyone should be able to do that. If you are, um, it's going to give you the ability to sink a pillar in the ground. Uh, and let's request more of those. Um, but actually, we don't even need to do that. Uh, I guess I'll show you the proper way to do it then. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to actually put one more uh, ceiling. Lord, guys, I'm having trouble with the hot bar. I'm put one more ceiling there. I'm going to come to the outside and place these. Lord. These on the ground. And keep going until it hits the ground, right? Now you should be able to snap a foundation right next to it. And now everything but that foundation should be able to come out. Ready? Including this. All right, now this is why the no clip method is necessary, guys. Why, how? Remove the one thing you know you need on your hotbar at the end of the video. Why would you do that? Let's go ahead and put this back. All right, so this is the stone wall. No matter who you are, you're gonna be able to do this, which isn't that bad and can make it look like a big chimney if you so desired to fake it. Now, if you do have the no clip method, you're gonna be able to do this, which is fantastic intersecting the two walls. I don't think you'll be able to do this on console no matter what, but let me know if you can. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, and I missed one little detail. Um, and you could fill in on the inside. You could hide a fireplace in here. You could hide forges in here. You could do a bunch of different things. Um, to, fit, to close up the top of it, uh, we are actually gonna do a one of these, and we'll hang a stone wall below. Now, uh, once again, no clip method required, but if you have it, I think you should be able to build straight down. Yes, that that is what I wanted. Head to the front, and that's how the place is looking. The one thing we have missed so far, guys, is up here. I did at one point request some adobe uh, sloped roofs. I think one of each. I'm going to flip it inside out and, uh, and get the inside out texture here. Now this is one that I would also like to know from you console people. Is this going to give you trouble? Or can you follow along? Are you able to just place those like I placed them? I'm curious. Uh, I think you're going to end up with a hole in your roof. I think if that's the case, what you're going to want to do is, is go ahead and remove this. Remove this and uh, just place... Basically have this here and you put a ceiling underneath this. So a ceiling there. And then you could just put in, what is it, adobe walls? You could just put in adobe walls to finish the job. So this is this is one way of dealing with the issue. Like that. And uh, maybe we do just a wall. And I should have a snap point there that's inside out. All right, so worst case scenario, you do that. That's the worst case version of bringing these three chunks of building together, guys. But if you have built along with me, you have done it. Let's go ahead and play an outro song. There we go. Okay, so this is the build. Uh, this is the build as it stands. Now that we're done with it, I think what we should do uh, before we get too far, guys, and thank you for the love and support in the live stream chat. You guys are fantastic. Let's go ahead and try another one of these Chinese banyan trees. They are epic. Oh, all right. Tell me that tree is not a game changer. Damn. So what do you think of this build? What do you think of this design? How did we do today? Let's uh, look at it as a man would on foot. Let's wander up to it. So uh, things that are, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking. Right here, you could do a dino gate instead of that two, two walls by four walls high. You could still have the peak on top and then you could have dino gate access to the house. So that's one possible modification. Another is paint job. Paint job, swapping materials. Maybe you do this uh, with more stone and less wood uh, because you're, you, you know, you're on a, uh, a aberration and you want to protect your place. I don't know what. The greenhouse glass is probably killer. I know people who play with uh, Structures Plus will be using regular glass in this design. I think it's a good house design. Um, this main floor is pretty spacious. I mean, like I said, it's up to you what you decide to do with this space right here. 
This is on that, that custom built sort of chimney on the front. I think maybe that works or maybe you put a door frame right here and hide something inside and then up upstairs this is now actually this is three high instead of two high so the regular staircase is not going to work for you here um, if you come up to this level there's a lot you could do with this guys there's potential for space for little bedrooms up here but I think I'm gonna leave it as is and see what people come up with big main floor area if you clear out a bunch of this you put in a big dino gate right there I think it would be quite cool I'm liking it. I think it's a good looking place. All right, and time for time for an actual outro, guys. Uh, if you are watching the stream replay, uh, if you are watching the stream live, it will continue. Maybe we'll take a look at some paint jobs for this. Uh, maybe we will take a look at the next live building tutorial design I'm going to do. Um, but uh, for now, this build is done. If you are watching the replay, hopefully this was smooth and didn't seem like it was an awkward live stream. Hopefully. But this has been the tutorial for Modern House, no, excuse me, for the Autumn House number two, uh, aka Large House, and built with a bunch of different materials, totally vanilla, so anyone can build it. Um, if you're watching uh, the replay, popping up on the screen right now is a link to my building tutorial playlist. Dive into that instead of watching whatever YouTube wants you to watch next. Uh, you can also click on my Patreon logo or click here for a video that I think you'll enjoy watching. Guys, thank you. This has been Autumn House 2, and I'm Unite the Clans.